went over um, to Germany with a group of at activists from London and Brighton and we arrived and there were thousands and thousands of police swarming all over the town. The stuff we got here in our house will still be radioactive and dangerous and lead deadly in hundreds of thousands of years. Nach dem Erdbeben käme, was ist dann? Wie sicher sind dann noch die Kastoren? Und dann ist das ganze Land verstrahlt. The, the reason I went over to the, the our house, the entire our house thing, is because um, I wanted to learn how to, to do big railway blockades, because that sort of thing hasn't really happened in Britain before. Police look like soldiers. They're like wearing massive helmets, full body armor, big kind of you know, baton, you know, there's, there's water cannons which look like tanks and big armoured personnel carriers. Um, and then they've got their, their special terrorist squad who are black police who look even more scary, they look like Darth Vader or something. It was like being in the middle of a war zone, it was like Vietnam or something, it was completely crazy. There were thousands. We had more than 20,000 policemen just in our house. We spent the whole day kind of running around madly. And about 400 of us just charged towards the tracks, charged towards the line of bright place, and got onto the tracks. And suddenly there were thousands and thousands of people following us. German people trying to stop the storage of radioactive waste. In Australia, I'm, I demonstrate with my friends trying to stop them digging up uranium. It is frightening to have such a massive police force just for pure financial interests of a few people, those who earn their money with nuclear power. When the train did come through, uh, about eight o'clock that evening, the atmosphere was just electric. There's no other way of describing it. Everyone just stood and watched as it came through really slowly with this helicopter kind of lighting it really brightly. Having so many people from other towns here and from other countries 
doing something together, this sense of solidarity. It's, it's very important to remember that, the, that wherever there is toxic waste, there are going to be people resisting it. We may, we may not have met each other yet, but we're there. If that would happen at Sellafield, it would be a truly massive protest. That would be amazing.